Hello and welcome. I want to talk to you today about changing your past. Now I know a lot of the time we say, well, the past is done. There's nothing, you know, I can move forward in the future and do something different, but there's nothing I can do about the past. Well, what if there is? What if this amazing spiritual gift that you have of imagination, of thinking creatively, can actually change things that have happened to you in the past? Because from where we are now, anything that is in the past is merely a memory for us. The only reason we actually know it happened is because we remember it a certain way. And the way that we remember things from the past then affect where we are in this moment. They, are, they add into the concept we hold of ourselves in this moment. Everything that we believe about ourselves is our idea of ourselves, which makes up who we are now. We are thought generated creatures. So if our idea of ourselves changes, then we entirely change. And sometimes there are certain things and certain ways that we look about, look at things that happened to us in the past and we hold an idea of them. We hold a a thought about how something happened and, and the way that it happened and, and those things affect the person that we are now. And I don't only mean your psychology. I, I've, I've seen this work with um, for myself personally well, uh, around health and um, lots of things about myself, ideas that I had, this happened to me, therefore I am, my health is this way. And when I went back in my imagination and imagined that happening and playing out differently to an extent where I totally persuaded myself that what I might, the idea that I held of what had happened in the past, when I wrote it in my mind and imagined it differently, it actually impacted me in this moment, who I am now, differently. So this is an invitation to just play. If there are things in your past that really hold you back, that grip you, that stop you moving forward, this is an amazing thing to do, to just get into a bit of a meditative state, find a, a place where you can relax, not where you're asleep, but just where you can relax. And any of these things that um, you know go through your mind or ideas that you hold of yourself, just Tell the story in your mind, in your imagination, tell the story differently. Tell it in a way that you would have loved it to have happened so that the person that you are now will have been affected in a really great way and you will be different in this moment now in a good way. Play with it and see. Doing things in your imagination like this is, is um, it's such a fun way to affect, change, the totally change even the course of your future. And I can see that was is something that I do continually. I change the past, whether it is two minutes ago, whether it is 10 years, 20 years ago. I, I think about the past differently and who I am now changes. Because as I said, everything that we are in this moment is the sum total of the ideas we hold about ourselves. So have a play with it. Um, feel free to comment on this video, ask questions. If there's anything that you need me to clarify, I'm very, very happy to do that. And if you are interested in diving into this more deeply, I'm doing something called 365 days, a full year of cracking creation, where we're diving deeply into how do we consciously create a life that we love, a life, a business, whatever it is we're up to. How do we do it? How do we get the things in our lives that we really love from a very, very healthy, happy, beautiful state. How do we do that? So if you'd like to join me on 365 days of cracking creation, the details will be, be underneath this video. Please do check those out. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to do that. And if there's anything that you would like me to make a video on, also put that in the comments and I will do that if I possibly can. Have a great day, take care, and I will see you soon. Lots of love. Bye for now.